So welcome to Inside Out Studio. This is the program that we oversee. It's a vocational habilitation program that serves adults with developmental disabilities. And what's amazing is they create all the artwork that's in our gallery and retail store, and we represent them and sell the artwork on their behalf. That way they can earn income from everything that they create. So when you come to our store or purchase from us, 50% of everything that's sold goes back to that artist directly that created it, and the rest goes to the materials for the program. Because we also provide all the materials, everything that you see here, mosaics, paints, fused glass, and ceramics, we provide that all for the artists that attend here. So all their hopes, dreams, and wishes, we, we help them out, we help to educate them on all the processes for creating the artwork. And then we also get their artwork out in the store, in the gallery, and represent them and find commissions for them as well. So one cool aspect about our program is if you have something specific that you'd like for your home or a gift for an individual that you know, you can come in and we'll match you up with one of our artists that can create that. And like I said, we have a ton of different types of artwork here between painting, mosaics, fused glass, and ceramics. So come check out our store and our gallery. So our current hours are Tuesday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We're hoping to expand those into the future as well. So keep an eye out that, for that on Facebook in the fall and into the winter time. And we also have a community education program that's starting up in July. So anyone from the community can sign up to take a class. And between July and December, we're offering a ton of options between glass, ceramics, and painting. And what's amazing is that we're hiring our artists that attend the program to come and help teach those classes. So you can have a one-on-one -on -one experience with the individuals that come to Inside Out Studio. We also have an amazing fundraiser in the fall. It's the Inspo Studios Golf Classic, and that's on September 10th. So if you're a golfer, you can come out and enjoy a day at Potter's Park in support of Inside Out Studio. But if you're not, you can also come for the after party because we're going to have a dinner provided by two women in the kitchen. And we're also having a DJ that was from our shift event in the spring. So it's going to be a great party in support of Inside Out Studio as well as a great day out at the golf course. So thank you all for checking out Inside Out Studio. We're also going to visit with some of the artists that are here today. We have about 40 plus artists that attend currently, 16 per day that come. So we have a variety of individuals that attend. Sometimes it's just one day per week on top of the individual's uh, daily schedules at their workplace. But some of our artists, this is their only source of income. And I'm proud as an artist myself to say that we're employing individuals with disabilities and they're making a paycheck from everything that they create here. So some of those artists are coming three days a week and they are learning to improve their skills, be more independent, and also sell their work so they can have a, you know, an income source for quality of life expenses. So stay tuned, we're gonna check out some of the artists in the studio, and get a brief tour, and we're gonna get to meet some of those individuals. Hi, my name is Morgan Gattermeyer. I am an artist at Inside Out Studio. I have been an artist here for, I wanna say it's been about four years now. Um, it's always very inspiring when I come to the studio to see what others are working on, to finish pieces that I'm working on. Um, there are pieces that I have made or currently making that I am making because another artist was working on something similar and I thought, oh, it would be kind of cool to try that out. There's an artist here named Shannon, and she was working on a wood-burning piece, and I thought it was neat, so I am now making a welcome sign out of wood-burning. That's one of the biggest things, I think, about coming to the studio, not just being able to make art, but to see and feel inspiration from other pieces of art, from other artists, and know that if it's something that you haven't done before, Try and get your feet wet. Try to see if you can do it. There's a lot of trial and error. It's always, you know, that's life. Um, but the happiest mistakes are sometimes the best artwork, if that makes sense. Um, this piece I'm holding is a 12 inch glass piece that is a bowl. And when it started, it was flat. So it looked a lot bigger when I was putting it together than it does now. Um, which is one of my favorite things about glass is 
when you're putting pieces together, it's like a puzzle. And then when they all fit in together, and then seeing it before it goes into the kiln, and then seeing it when it comes out, because it doesn't look at all the same as it did when it went in. Because a lot of times it's gonna have a different shape or have like a little bit of a texture to it, which is really cool. I think since coming to the art studio, I have learned to appreciate art more. And knowing that Inside Out is a place where individuals with disabilities make artwork is just amazing. If you were to hold up this piece next to a Van Gogh piece and say, which one do you like, you know, which one do you think belongs to who, they may not be able to point out the difference. And that's not just with my pieces. A lot of different pieces here, any piece that's here, could be compared to a professional artist, which I think is really good. Really materials do you use? Um, paint markers and regular paint. How long does it usually take you to make a piece like this? A whole day. At least. How long have you been painting here? Um, I really don't know how long I've been here. Um, maybe about three years. <laughs> do you have a favorite memory or a favorite piece you've ever made? My favorite is my wolves right now. <laughs> Do you have another one you want to show us? Um, I have a pool painting that I left it in there, but I'm still finishing one. And I have another wolf painting. That's cool. <laughs> I found this one on the internet as well. Okay. 